Hi guys, Professor Ray Elby with Kuwait Comet Athletics and GFC Wrestling to present your tips on the mat. Now today, we're gonna work with Solly from a position where I'm a grappler and I'm facing a striker. One of the techniques that I'll utilize to take away his strengths is I'll put him against the fence. That limits the kicks, that limits a lot of the knees, and it limits a lot of the punching power. So I'm gonna drive him into the fence. Notice the key placement of my head. When I put my head here, it's turning his body in nice and deep. Now I've got him driven all the way against the fence so there's no opportunity to sprawl. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my foot nice and deep in between his, almost all the way to the fence. And then with my hands, I'm gonna take my hands and like two little snakes, two little cobras, they're gonna wrap behind the knee. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive my hip into the fence, I'm gonna pull him up, and then all I've gotta do is pull my body away. So again, head control, I've got my leg nice and deep all the way to the fence. The two little cobras come out and grab to the back of the legs. And now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to elevate them and take them down. From here I can stay, keep my posture up nice and high. No need to go down low. And I can land effective strikes, ground and pound from here. One of the things that you'll notice against a more experienced grappler, somebody with some wrestling takedown defense, when I get in here, they're going to do exactly what Sale just did. They're going to turn their legs off, so that way their hips aren't going in a straight angle off of the fence. He's also going to rock what's called a whizzer to prevent me from being able to duck under his back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that whizzer nice and strong, and I'm going to use my underhook to jack his body up. It's illegal to grab the fence, but I can run my hand along the fence. Then I'm going to bring my hip nice and deep, and I'm going to pick him up with my hip, and continue driving with my hand to take them this way. Uh. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that ankle and I'm gonna pull it towards me. I can land in the half guard, but my goal is as I'm driving them down to go ahead and pass. Landing in side control with his body up against the fence, it makes it very easy for me to start working, trapping the body, working various ground and pound from this position. So just like with anything, we have to have multiple attacks. I've gone with the double leg, I've now gone with the hip heist, and one of the other attacks that I like to work out of this is a single leg. Those of you that saw the last time I showed the single leg, same principle, we're just setting it up from a different position. I keep this body nice and tight, I'm trying to jack him up, but I'm having a hard time. So I'm gonna run this hand all the way down to this hind leg. And when I run that leg, I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna run it nice and deep all the way across my body. Now from here, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna level change. This leg here is gonna stay and I'm gonna kick my back leg like I'm taking a bow at the end of an audience. From here, I can maintain side control staying outside of his legs, raining down strikes. As you guys know, punches need distance in order to hurt. So I want to keep my back straight and my head up as we're mounting the attack.